Hey guys, I'm the Average Gamers here today. Today I'm going to show you how to get some better FPS on lower end hardware. So right now I am getting around 38, 40 FPS in the middle of the center of this town here. And if I go into the options menu and I go to video and I go to upscaler mode, if you change your upscaler mode to FSR quality, what that is going to do is it's going to lo uh, render the game at a lower resolution and it's going to upscale that resolution so it looks pretty decently good but it's going to give you a lot higher frame rate and also what you can do is you can go over to the uh, settings here and you can change uh, like the anti-aliasing to low turn off motion blur uh, you can keep particle quality you can kind of lower that to like lower medium uh, contact shadows to medium ambient occlusion quality to low global illumination quality to medium reflections quality to medium and fog quality to low a lot of those will change performance right now i'm getting now i'm getting around 60 fps in this area whereas before i was getting around 38 to 40 fps and it's pretty much sticking pretty close to 60 fps in some other areas i get around i don't know like 70 fps especially like, like indoors you get way better fps than you do outside now see how it's spiking up to around 60 to uh 80 but then, if you go ahead and take that, and you turn that off to no upscaling at all, yes, the game will be more clear, but I have like 20 lower FPS. So it is a noticeable difference, but what you're going to be sacrificing is some like quality of your game for better frame rate. But since this is, a, this is like a fast-paced game, it may be worth it. So the other option you can do... Is turn this on to like the linear mode which basically <laughs> decreases it even further I don't think this one works as well linear doesn't really work as well for me as FSR I would I would say FSR um, definitely keep it on FSR uh, where did that go what happened <laughs> oh I'm in the oh there we go I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> Put that back on. Well, this is how I've been playing the game. Yes, it's a little bit more blurry, but it definitely does run a lot better, honestly. And some of those other settings that I put the game at, I'll go back in and show you what I have. This is what I found the best settings to be, really, for low-end GPUs. It kind of keeps it somewhere in the middle. Um, I also have it on DirectX 11. Some games, like with DirectX 11, make it run... Um, smoother in some games on DirectX 12 make it run a little bit smoother but most of the time I find DirectX 12 lowers the frame rate by just about like 3 or 4 FPS so I prefer to use DirectX 11 at least in this game that's what I recommend anyways so these are the settings I currently have the game at hopefully that helps someone um, also if you notice this game is using up to 12.7 gigabytes of my RAM right now and I have 16 gigs of RAM so I would definitely recommend having at least 16 gigabytes of RAM in your PC because it really eats up RAM a whole lot if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM you're gonna be definitely limited on uh, frame rate so this is not the average gamer starting off catch you guys in the next video